What is going on, everyone? And welcome back to Cart 63. Uh, I am Ben. Uh, first and foremost, I want to say thank you again for coming back to the channel and taking a view of my videos I create here. Uh, I hope that I'm helping some new people or give a perspective to some people who have been in the sport a while, uh, you know, a, a different way of thinking of things or maybe a way somebody else does things. So uh, I kind of, on this tire, <laughs> I've been doing a lot of videos on tires and I could continue to do videos on tires if I uh, if I really wanted to make it. Maybe I'll make a playlist. I'll put uh, different videos with different topics in a playlist on my channel just so if somebody happens to want to go check it out, you can just go to that playlist and check out you know those specific videos. But um, I did a tire last year on surfacing and my homemade tire surfacer. I think I'm going to go a little more in depth on that, uh, get this thing cleaned up a little bit, and, uh, and, and show you exactly what I did in order to build that. But for people who don't want to take the time to build a tire surfacer, uh, I have a quick and easy method of surfacing your tires. Now, I will preface this with this method will wear your tires out quicker. It removes way more material and whether or not that's a good thing, you know, really depends if you want a thinner tread or not. Uh, I, I find it works very well on, uh, you come off of, of winter and you want to, you know, start prepping your tires for the new race season, uh, you would surface the tire. Well, in order to get all that, the, the old, say the old prep, the old rubber off the outside that may have glazed over a little bit, you're going to want to remove that. And how do you do that in a hurry? Well, you get yourself an angle grinder. Uh, this is a Craftsman and it is from, did I get a Lowe's? It might have been Lowe's. But, and what I have on it is a lap disc. Uh, you can get these in all sorts of grits. Uh, this one happens to be an 80 grit. So this is pretty darn aggressive. You can get 36 grit. Uh, I don't recommend those. You, you're going to remove way too much material in that case. Uh, 120, and I'm not sure it, how fine lap discs go. I've seen 120, and uh, they work well too. But I just have an 80 here, basically to get my burst ready for the, the season, to, uh, to get a nice fresh uh, layer to start prepping. Uh, to start checking my duros to see where everything's at, but I'm gonna go up close and personal. Up close and personal, I guess. I'm gonna go onto the cart chassis. Uh, this is, like I said, if you don't have a surfacer, uh, I'm gonna show you how you can do this on your cart chassis. So uh, give me a minute, I'll get set up and I'll show you how I do this. See you in a minute. All right, everyone, due to some unforeseen technical difficulties, AKA, I did not turn on my uh, video. <laughs> I went through this entire process uh, with an explanation and uh, I went ahead and surfaced the tire and the camera wasn't on. So we are going to start all over again and I'm going to go into what I just said. <laughs> so uh, this is the right rear chassis. I'm assuming, you know, if, if you're watching this video and it's something that you want to learn about, um, you don't have a tire surfacer, so you're looking for the method I described as using a lap disc on an angle grinder. All right, so the right rear, what I have done is I've put in a cart cover over the rest of the chassis. I don't see the need to get rubber all over, you know, a nice clean chassis. Uh, if necessary, if you happen to be at the track, then you're already dirty. doesn't really matter, but that's what we're doing. So what we're going to want to be doing here is we're taking this this is uh, this is going to be turning in a clockwise fashion spins this way that is going to cause the tire to turn towards you so it's actually going in reverse and when you come down to the surface you're going to want to be slightly tipped not a huge angle like this this will cause the tire to spin way too fast so you're going to be slightly tipped in this fashion and we're going to drag this across the tire as it spins back and forth till you feel as if you've gotten the whole surface. And obviously I got the whole surface this initial time. So when I, when I do this, I, I may put a pause in the video here and uh, because this is gonna be loud and I'm not quite sure how it's gonna come off with the microphone I have. If it's gonna be too loud and blowing people's eardrums out, I may go silent or do some voiceover or something on the next edited portion. Uh, 
it remains to be seen. Once we go into editing, we will figure that out. So, okay, I'm going to now start to grind. Again, we're going to spin the tire towards me. Get that going. Fire this up, and here we go. Trust me when I say that will get hot if you try and do it without something. Um, the, one of the problems you're going to find, uh, or you may notice, is in this uh, style of surfacing, you can get the rubber too hot, as I did right here. You see this edge? You see how this is? This is not. This is. I, I, you can do it this way. I thought I'd make a video on it. I prefer not to do it this way because you can get the rubber too hot by spinning things too fast or too much pressure. So uh, again, you know, <clears throat> buyer beware type of scenario. You can do this, but it takes uh, a lot of practice to do it right. Something like a Vega and, and this type of rubber has a tendency to melt a little quicker than say a Burris. A Burris seems to, uh, to, to peel off and create little balls. Very, very similar. This will get hot. This will melt on a Vega. So just just thought I'd let you guys know. Uh, hopefully I hit record this time <laughs> and we got some good fit, uh, footage here. But uh, this is what a surface tire with a angle grinder and lap disc looks like. All right, I'll catch you guys up top. All right, well, I hope uh, all that footage came out well. <laughs> I won't know until I edit the video. So uh, your guess is as good as mine, but I'm obviously not going to put it up on the YouTubes if it came out like crap. So like I said, I, you can do it this way. I prefer to do it with a actual tire surfacer. Like, like I said, down the line here, I will do a, a more up and close personal with my home built tire surfacer for those of you who want to save a little bit of money and not purchase one you know, that's already made. Um, Again, this will wear your tires out quicker. It will remove way more material than just running a, a tire surfacer. I use finer grits. You're not being nearly as aggressive. So uh, if your concern is burning through tires and you know you, you want to keep you know uh, the tires you have good, you, you got to kind of balance the good with the bad. It's a great way to get the new rubber. It's a great way to be able to, press, uh, to prep fresh rubber, but it will wear the entire life of the tire out quicker. So uh, there you go, guys. I, I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, thank you very much for stopping by again. If you didn't mind, hit a like, maybe subscribe to the channel. Uh, gets out there in the algorithm, gets more people watching it, and uh, hopefully it can help other people out. So uh, I will catch you on the next video. Later, guys.